Rachel, and I'm going to show you today about a few different things that you can do to change your event. So I know you're talking about doing the same event, but four different days of the month. So the first thing that you're going to do is date and time. And what we're going to do here is we're going to edit it and we're going to make it an all day event. So you, you want to click this all day event. And then the start time, say I was running a first aid clinic from September 14th to the 28th, I'll, I'll do the 14th. And then down here, I would pop in the 28th, September 14th to the 28th, and then we'll click done. So you can see these and we can edit, we can edit the times as well. Um, but September 14th to September 28th from uh, whatever time you want. And then uh, down here, we're gonna click into, or up here, we're gonna go up to tickets. And then we are gonna click this ticket. And what I would type in here is, I'm gonna say September 14th. September 14th, um, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And I'll pop in first aid course. September 14th, first aid course, 9 to and, I'll, and then description, we'll do this ticket. Provides a, uh, in our first aid training course on September 14th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. period. And then you would pop in your price, um, amount of tickets available, total receivable amount, if there is one, I'm guessing you're just gonna have the firm ticket price. Um, and then we can click down here, we can click save. It's a bit covered, we're changing that. And then we'll do add a ticket, and then we would do the next weekend, so September, let's say September 21st, um, and then same idea. Uh, so ticket price will pop in 10, this ticket gets a new spot at the first aid course on September 21st from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And we'll click save down here. Okay, so you got September 14th, and then what I would pop into for the titles is September 21st, first aid course, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., just like what I've got here. Now what we can do is we can go into your preview mode here. And so this is an area where you can go in and check and see what the, your checkout looks like um, for different people that are gonna be buying tickets. So we would go into tickets and you could see September 14th, first aid course, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. September 21st, first aid course, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh, and keep going, keep going, keep going. And right here, this is sold out. I, this is because I didn't enter in any number or um, ticket amount. If I had done that, then it would show normally. So that idea is that for tickets, in a really clear way, people see the date, they see what the, the thing is that they're paying for, and they see the time up here. So I would do this, basically create four different tickets um, for each of the days that you have. And then if we go back into your page editor, what will happen is this page goes live um, all the way, all the way through. Um, so I would set it up that way, and what will happen is on the receipt that different purchasers receive, it'll show that the date and time that this first aid course is going from September 14th to September 28th, but for the actual ticket that they bought, um, they're going to be going to the class on September 14th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m.